What's going on, YouTube? So, last night, my wife and I finished a project that we've been working on this last weekend, and it was installing laminate wood flooring. If you've ever installed laminate wood flooring, uh, hats off to you, because that was brutal. That was a big job. If you're ever wondering, is installing laminate wood flooring a big job, an easy job? If you're watching HGTV right now and you're thinking like, I'm gonna do that. It's a big job, it's a big job. Just remember that, okay? Because it's not a little tiny thing, it's a backbreaker. That one's a backbreaker. So anyways, I wake up this morning and uh, I can't breathe. I'm in so much pain. My back, my knees, everything. I just, it's one of those like, oh my God, get the Tylenol. It feels like, honestly, like you got, you got ran over by an aircraft carrier. So, I wake up, I do the little, the quick contemplate, should I even go to work? Yes, I know I should go to work. So I go to work, and on my way to work, I find myself just like, just complaining. You know what I mean? Like just, ugh, it was such an awful job. It was so much work, laying it floor, bleh. I lost you guys there for a minute. So I'm complaining about it, I get to work, I'm complaining to my coworkers about it, and then I thought, it like dawned on me, I'm complaining about installing laminate wood flooring in my house. That's what I like to call, and I've heard, I'm sure you've heard the term, um, of first world problems. There's no one in Ethiopia going, oh, my back my back and my knees hurt a little bit from the laminate wood flooring. So I thought about it and I said, man, I wonder how much I complain about things that I should be grateful for. One time I called, um, <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing, one time I called Xbox Live Support uh, because my Xbox said to. And so I called and I got uh, this sweet lady from India who uh, sounded sick. Like she literally sounded like she had a cold, and uh, so I asked her. I said, "Why? Why are you? Why didn't you take the day off? You know, like why are you at work today? You sound awful." And she she kind of laughed at me, and said, uh, "She she's the only one that works in her family of six, and uh, if she doesn't work, then her grandma will not get the medicine that she needs, and and her grandma could die because." of that, so she has to work every single day so her grandma doesn't die. And I said, cool, is uh, is my Xbox gonna work soon? I, I didn't say that, I felt really bad. In fact, I said, you know what? Don't even worry about my stupid Xbox problems. In fact, I'm never gonna play the Xbox again. I'm gonna donate it to charity. Another um, first world problem I think is funny is when I complain about my job. Blah! But the work so much and work is so hard it just drains me and it's uh, it's never ending it feels like uh but don't don't you get paid yeah duh come on I get paid well now I'm gonna go take another break because I'm tired I've been at my desk for over an hour uh I used to find myself complaining about cars, like this car, like it rattles a lot, it's old, it's just like, oh man, I'm compl I complain about it. If I didn't have this car, I would I would have to give my, my whole family piggyback rides to the grocery store. Another thing I complain about a lot is like, I'll go to rent a movie, and I'll be like stoked about renting this movie, and it's not in Redbox at all, and I can't find it anywhere. It's not on Netflix, it's not on Redbox, it's not anywhere, and now my whole night shot because I can't watch the new Transformers. But there's people in like Africa that are like, what, what's a movie? Like anybody that complains about like long wait times has no idea. The dishwasher's just taking way too long to clean all, all of my dirty dishes. I've been waiting so long to get my fast food. How long have you been waiting? 15 minutes! <laughs> this one. This one's funny to me, is gas prices. I don't believe it. It's up to 3.75 a gallon. But those are the same people that will spend 
a dollar seventy-five on a twenty-ounce soda. Do you know what goes into to making gasoline? I mean, you got to refine the oil and do some other magic and voodoo and blah blah blah. It's a long process, and then you got to get it on a truck, and they got to drive that truck over to the gas station, and then they pump it into the big gas tanks, and then and you pull up and you put your thing in, and you're like three fifty. Even I think even bums. In, in, in the United States of America have it better than most third world countries. Like that guy. <laughs> Literally a bum. I mean, homeless person. So I'm, I'm pulling up into the house right now. I, that was a long day, but I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm gonna do this new thing where, and this is just a personal challenge. I'm gonna try to go two weeks. I only say two weeks. Because it's just so hard. Two weeks of zero complaining. You guys can try it too. We complain about everything, like, but really, we have it easy. So, two weeks, no complaining. I'm gonna try my best, okay? If you guys like this video, please subscribe, because uh, that's how you get to see more videos. But thanks guys for watching, like, comment, tell me what you think. Do people complain too much? Do you complain too much? Do you accept the two-week challenge of no complaining. Zero complaining. I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right, have a good one.